the update is here. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carlos Time and it is time to brawl. It's time for the update. So excited. Okay, so first things first. Rosa still has not been released. And I don't know when that's going to happen. But I will be giving you guys some sneak peeks of her as well as some of the new skins as quickly as I am allowed to give that to you. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. This video is about giving you all of the information coming in this update and doing it as quickly as I can. As always, I'll hold my review for a few days after I've been able to test things out where I can give you guys my 100% honest review. Starting off, we've got gem carts in gem crab. Minecart Madness is a new map that is being added into Brawl Stars that actually has some carts traveling on the tracks. Now, if you happen to get in the way of the carts, they will push you back and deal 2,000 damage, and they can also be used like walls, meaning that they'll actually block shots, um, and then you can use them for cover, as well as some shots like Carl's attack or like Rico's attack will actually bounce off of the carts. Each of the four carts in the train can only damage you once throughout the duration of the entire cart's um, time on the map. I guess. So if you run toward the cart, you'll actually receive damage faster. And if you run away from the cart, it will take longer for you to actually receive damage. Though I don't really recommend just running toward or running away from the carts in this fashion. One thing is to absolutely pay attention to not get caught between a cart and a wall because the wall will prevent you from getting knocked back, which means that the cart will quickly deal 8,000 damage to you. If you happen to get hit by all four of the carts early on, like uh, if you're El Primo or something, like that then later on you can actually willingly just run through the carts and have them not deal any damage to you which i think is pretty hilarious we also have several other maps being added into the game we have four siege maps including junk park sparring match straight shot and assembly attack they will be removing puddle splash in order to add center stage in brawl ball They'll be removing Cavern Churn and Island Invasion from Showdown in order to add two more Showdown maps, including Royal Runway and Flying Fantasies. Flying Fantasies is actually super interesting because all of the jump pads actually lead all of the brawlers right towards the center where there are some boxes in the middle that everyone gets to fight over. It's uh, really excited to play that one competitively. Up next, I wanted to show you guys the training cave. Okay, so I've got Crow unlocked, but let's say you don't have Crow unlocked and you want to try him out. You come right here, go ahead and hit try, and you can try him out. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to try skins out that you uh, are don't have, but yeah, check this out. Okay, so a few different things. You jump in here, you've got these four bots right here, and you'll notice first thing in the upper right-hand corner, you'll actually see damage per second, which is really cool. So there's just these bots right here. After you don't deal damage for a certain period of time, they just re-pop up there so you can test things out. And there's also a bot right here with 100,000 HP. Um, there's a bot over here if you want to mess around with like healing functions or something. He'll shoot at you, do like a little bit of damage. You can jump on him if you want. This is what I love about this. This is seriously so fun. You ready for this? Boom! 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 And then after you stop dealing damage for a little bit, you just they just re-pop up there. They just reappear. And you can do it again if you want. Oh man, I have already spent hours, not even joking, just like messing around with different brawlers and stuff like this, that in this, uh, in this mode. You've also got uh, Brawl TV right here. Spectate top players from around the world. Basically, it just searches for the highest ranked matches that are going on at the moment. And then after each match, it just like goes and spectates them, uh, the people that are actually jumping into the queue. So you actually like watch them live, which is really cool. Now, you'll actually be able to change your name in Brawl Stars. You get a free name change, which that's already been in there. You don't get a second free name change, I don't think, if uh, you've already changed it once. The second time you do it, it costs 60 gems. The third time, it's 90 gems. The fourth time, it's 120 gems. The fifth time, it is 100. 150 gems and every time beyond that is also 150 gems very similar to how clash royale actually does it we've also got crow's remodel right there <laughs> yep he uh fires arrows which is kind of crazy it's also interesting too because he actually faces the back like if you look at this um you take a look at his hat and everything like that you see his hat his hat oh my gosh <laughs> it's a baseball cap eagle hat which is i don't know 
Interesting. Also, his chest isn't pointy like it used to be, so that's at least an improvement. In game, his arrows look super cool. You can also see that his mines have a cool new flashing effect. They actually look like mines as well, as well as they pop up with like a little warning sign uh, when people actually uh, land on them, which is a uh, way to, I don't know, just add cool style points to the game. <laughs> Other changes, Leon's attack now looks a little bit cooler. They're a little bit more spinny. Little Helper Penny actually now shoots out Christmas stockings instead of bags of coins with her attack. You can also see her throw out her super, which kind of looks cool. Spike had some slight uh, improvements to his attack animations and his super animation. Primo's attack now looks slightly different. Golden Barley now actually throws out a brown bottle that's different than regular Barley's attack. It works for his super as well. We got Boombox Brock. Check out that beat. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well that was a little cringe. Also, you know the star icon that shows whether a brawler actually has their star power underneath them? Um, now that will actually be applied to spawns, such as Nita's bear, Jesse's turret, Penny's turret. However, brawlers like Pam or Terra, whose spawns are not impacted by a star power, uh, they actually don't. Also, Carl now has a voice. <laughs> My calculations are always correct. I'm detecting seismic activity. Okay, that one was weird. Carl is my name. Geology is my game. <laughs> Geology rocks! <laughs> okay, that was lame. <laughs> Granted, that's actually exactly the kind of joke that I would have used on my channel. <laughs> there are also a lot of other really random changes that I'll be going over uh, after I go over balance changes. First up, Crow is getting a buff. You guys asked for it, and it is happening. The damage from his attack and his super are being buffed up by 7.1%. Carl's also getting a massive buff. They're increasing the throwing speed of his regular attack by 25%. This is true for non-max Carl and max out Carl. His star power is staying the same. The duration of his super is also being increased from 2.5 seconds to 3 seconds. However, they're making it so that stuns, pushbacks, and pulls are now going to actually reset his super. So it's just like uh, Frank, if you're using it in the middle of it, then it stops. Shelly's also getting a buff. Her regular attack is being increased in range from 7.33 tiles to 7.67 tiles, and the speed of her projectiles is increasing by 5%. Daryl's getting a health buff by 5%, and Piper's super is getting several little buffs. They're increasing the number of bombs that she drops from 3 to 4. They're also making it so that it will drop over a larger area. It's actually an increase by 10% to the diameter, and they're increasing the damage dealt by her bombs by 12.5%. Poco is also getting a buff to his super where it's actually going to heal 14% more and Gene is actually getting some interesting tweaks. There's a few bugs that are going to be fixed with his super. Um, if an enemy dies during a pull the hand will no longer destroy uh, the environment. Also Gene will no longer be able to actually be pulled by a Gene if he's actually pulling another brawler. And now when you're auto aiming with Gene the fact that he has a added range beyond like once his projectile split it's actually going to influence his auto aim. The same change is actually going to be added to Spike as well. Pam? <laughs> She getting nerfed, guys. Uh, she's getting a 7.7 .7 damage nerf and a 2.3 health nerf. They're also making it so that other Pam's healing stations and Nita's bears will now actually trigger her star power. So that will be a slight buff to Pam, but overall she's definitely getting nerfed. Leon is also getting a nerf where his invisibility time is being decreased from 8 seconds down to 7 seconds. Now let's cover a big list of random changes that will impact things uh, every here and there. Showdown meteors will now target teamers with a little bit more of a smarter logic meteor explosion radius is actually going to be bigger healing mushrooms and energy drinks will now target non teaming brawlers with a little bit better logic than was before they added the polish and hebrew languages they're going to be adding a golden week event that's going to be coming here soon with a new menu background and music that you actually got to see in the most recent brawl talk they're actually making some improvements to matchmaking so that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for players that are actually teaming together beforehand in order organizing a team comp uh, so that it's a little bit easier for people to actually play with randoms. They're also adding some more support for color tags um, where people can actually like, change the color of their names. They added some minor improvements to the tutorial. They improved the poor connection symbol during uh, displayed during battle. They also increased the super button radius so you're less likely to miss your super on larger devices. It will actually look the same but the effective area will actually be uh, increased in size. They also made it so that the second gem in gem grab will spawn a little bit later than uh, it previously has been. Oh, what? I just 
change clothes. That's weird. Uh, yeah, so some other quick changes is that now Siege bolts are going to start spawning a little bit more closer to the midline, so it'll be a little bit less random. The Ike will no longer deal area damage with its projectile, and it will actually be like a homing target. So once it locks onto a target and shoots its attack, then it will lock onto it so like a bull can like run across the stage and it will st he'll still get attacked, like even if he tries to rush towards the middle of it. Additionally, Frank will now only stun the Ike turret for just like split second rather than for the entire duration of his super. There was also a massive list of random bug fixes that I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to cover in this video. It actually won't like impact things a ton, but if you're really curious, you can always go to the Brawl Stars subreddit and actually read the official patch notes by Brawl Stars. Lots of fun stuff coming up here. I will be showing you Bunny Penny. Uh, Rosa and the Shiba Nita skin when I'm allowed to sneak peek those for you guys So make sure you subscribe and stay notified for that as well I want to know what you guys think about this update So please drop a comment in the section below letting me know what you're most excited for for now This is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in the update which is now <laughs> We're here